Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Ashley, also known as Ashwar and Ashwar Plays over on TikTok. And this is actually my second time <laughs> recording this video. If you saw the title of this video and if you've been watching my content over on TikTok and Twitter, you already know that I recently added a mod in my game that transforms Magnolia Promenade into Paris. And initially this video was going to be a quick 10 to 15 minute video of me reviewing this mod and then doing a bit of gameplay but I have been having so much fun with the gameplay. I've decided that I want to make this into a full-blown let's play series and I know as myself let's play series has been highly requested by so many of you guys so I hope you guys are just as excited as I am about the series but there is one thing I want to talk about before we start this series and it is my sim self and Mimi and Samurai Shuno. I've decided that I no longer want my sim self incorporated into that series. All of Mimi and her friends have aged up to adults and they're moving on to the next stage of their lives. They're starting families and they're just, they're growing up. They're growing up. I myself am not ready for that. And if you guys don't know, I mainly play The Sims as a sort of manifestation tool and live vicariously through my sim self. And I still want my sim self to navigate through her early 20s. I want her to date and travel and try new things. So with that being said, I started a completely new save file for this series. It's still my personal save file that I use for all of my Let's Play series, but this save file does not take place in the same universe as Mimi in Cameron and Camille's storyline. And so I've added a bunch of new townies to the save file, so we're gonna be seeing a bunch of fresh faces. And yeah, I can't wait to start. So before we get into the series, I wanted to talk about the mod that I'm using to transform Magnolia Promenade into Paris. And this is the Romance in France mod by Nando. But I do wanna throw in a quick disclaimer that this mod does not add any gameplay it is just solely aesthetics it just changes the appearance of Magnolia Promenade to look like Paris and so with that being said you have to download your own lots into this world to get the full experience so here are the features that comes with this mod you get a completely revamped world with new skyscrapers new eye candy in the landscape and an Eiffel Tower that lights up at night and you also get an adjusted map icon and a new map view however if you're using a map replacement mod i'm currently using one by 20th century plum bob you won't be able to see this feature unless you take that map replacement out of your game and i refuse to do that so I'm gonna I'm gonna miss out on this feature but that's totally fine. So there are a few key items to note before getting this mod. The first is that it requires a few packs and these packs include Get to Work, City Living, and Discover University and the creator has also recommended that you have Eco Lifestyle as well. And so the other thing to note about this mod is as I said before it's solely aesthetics. There's no added gameplay so there aren't any new lots and you have to manually remove and replace the lots to get the full experience. And then the creator left installation instructions and let me tell you guys this mod is so easy to download it literally takes you less than a minute to do and so there are two different packages that you can download you can download the destination version or the residential version and so if you download the destination version your sims will not be able to live in this world they are only able to access this while on vacation and so that is why i downloaded the residential version and so you'll click on this package and that will be automatically placed in your downloads folder so once you locate the file in your downloads folder, you're going to extract it and then you will open up the folder. And so there are two steps to install this mod. The first is to directly place this folder into your mods folder. And if you don't know how to install mods into your game, I'll quickly show you guys how to. So we're going to copy this folder, then we're going to go to documents and then you're going to look for the electronic arts folder, the Sims 4. And then there should be a mods folder. You're going to click on that and you will directly paste this mod into your mods folder. Okay, so here's the second step. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this package right here. Then you're going to go to this PC, click on local disk, then this folder here, Origin Games, The Sims 4, and then you're going to head to the folder that is titled Delta. Then you're going to click on EP01, then Worlds, Areas, 
And then before you paste that file we just copied into this folder, what you're gonna wanna do is take the original package and put this in a backups folder. I usually put all my backups in my documents folder, but once you do that, you will paste the modded version of this file into this folder and that is all you need to do. Once you do this, you are able to open up your game and play with the new world. So now that you download the mod and open up your game, you should see this new map icon here and you should see the Eiffel Tower. And as you can see here, it still reads Magnolia Promenade. The creator left a link where you can manually change the name, but personally, I do not mind. And also, I do want to point out again that I have a map replacement mod in my game by 20th Century Plumbob, so I currently don't have the new map view. I'll probably put like a screenshot of what it looks like here, but I'm going to give you guys a tour of my save file and show you guys which lots I'm using for this world. Before I show the lots though, let me show you guys the world because... Hello? Like look at the Eiffel Tower and then look at all the lots. It really just feels like... I'm in Paris right now. <laughs> All right, so here's the first thought I'm gonna be showing you guys. This is the Paris Restaurant and Apartments by Mook Sims. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the creator's name correctly but I will have links to all the lots that I'm showing in today's video down in the description for you guys to download as well. So on the first floor is a restaurant and then on the second, third, and fourth floor, and I'm just not realizing that this <laughs> field has four floors, oh my goodness, but on the second, third, and fourth floor are apartments and my sim stuff is currently staying in the apartment on the second floor. But because Magnolia Promenade only has four lots on this world and if you guys know me, I try to have my sims remain in one world unless they're traveling for like vacation or to visit family. And so it's kind of hard to not get easily bored with gameplay in the same world if there's only four lots. And so with that being said, I would highly suggest downloading lots that have multiple functions to them so that you can get the most out of these lots. And so currently the third and fourth floor are empty because I am in the process of redecorating but this lot comes fully furnished. So if you don't feel like decorating, that is totally fine because it's fully furnished for you guys. But as I said before, my sim self is living on the second floor. And then on the first floor is the restaurant. And you guys, this restaurant is so stunning. Like I cannot wait for my sim self to come here for dinner. It is so nice. You guys have to download this lot, but there's also some outdoor seating out here as well. And yeah, that is another reason why I didn't want to download the destination version of this mod in my game because I didn't want to sacrifice one of the lots as a rental because again, I want to get the most out of my gameplay. And so my sim self is just quote unquote renting out this apartment. The next lot I'm going to show you guys is the Old Town Atelier Square by Nicole Simbler and I love this lot so much. It is so pretty. And so originally this lot was a bridal shop but again I wanted to get multiple functions out of these lots and so I turned this building into a lounge instead. And so we have a bar here, some tables, we have a piano, a microphone, and then on the second floor, we have a foosball table, a game of Don't Wake the Llama, some darts. And then next door is a formal wear shop where your Sims are able to come here to get evening gowns and suits. And I haven't had the chance to add outfits to these mannequins, but I will get to it eventually. <laughs> And so here's the first cafe I have and again this lot has multiple functions to it and just like the first lot I removed all the decorations because I want to redecorate it to my personal liking but on the first floor is the cafe. There isn't anything on the second floor but on the third and fourth floor are apartments and so here's what the first one looks like, here's what the second one looks like, and then here's that second floor. And I'm not sure what we can turn this into, but eventually I want to turn it into something. Maybe a nightclub? I don't know. But on the first floor is the cafe and it is so cute. I redecorated it to my personal liking and I just love how it turned out. And you guys, look at this view. Look at this view. Like, imagine having a cute coffee date here. Like, what a vibe. Last but certainly not least is the Parisian Cafe and Apartments by Bojana Sims. And if you guys know my channel, I am a huge advocate for this creator. I love their work so much. And so originally this is a 20 by 30 lot. However, I placed this on the 40 by 30 lot. And so this half has Bojana's 
lot and then I added this portion to the lot as well and I loved how it turned out. It's like a community pool area. We have some seating out here. We have a dance floor, a DJ booth, a bar over here, and then here's like a pool house with bathrooms and showers in it. But the main reason why I downloaded this lot is because I see so much potential with this lot. So originally you get a cafe and then on the top two floors is a furnished apartment, but there's a lot of empty space on this lot. And so I'm thinking we turn maybe this into like a nail salon, maybe a gym on this floor, a small intimate restaurant here, maybe even a lounge on this floor. So yeah, there's like a lot of potential with this lot and I'm so excited to play around with it. But that is the four lots that I'm using for this world. And yeah, I just feel like everything looks so cohesive now. Like, I feel like I'm in Paris right now. <laughs> but now that we've done a full world tour, it's time to introduce you guys to my sim self or introduce you guys to myself. And so my name is Ashley. I am 25 years old. I live alone. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you all that. You know what? It, do it doesn't matter. I live alone. I do have a pet dog named Benji. He is a miniature schnauzer and he will be turning three this year. And so I mentioned earlier that I wanted my sim self to be dating. And I have a mod just for that. I have one different ones in my game. And this mod allows you to set your sim's attractive traits. And I'm not picky at all. <laughs> I'm not picky at all, so I picked a handful of sims to base my attractive traits on. I'm not gonna tell you guys who, because I wanted to be a surprise, but they may or may not be potential love interests in the series. And so I have the fabulously wealthy aspiration. The sim wants to get rich and have a successful career because I'm trying to live in luxury. I'm trying, to, that's the dream life. <laughs> I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> So that is my inspiration. And then we have perfectionists and you guys already know this. I like to nitpick everything creative and the geek traits. Now that I've covered my aspiration traits, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the rental apartment we're staying at. So here's the front door. Super cute. Here is the kitchen and I am in love. Look at this gorgeous view, you guys. This is so stunning, but just wait until we get to the bedroom. Here is the dining room slash living room area. Of course, we have a bar cart here, a food bowl for Benji, and then here's the living room space, and I am in love, you guys. This looks so gorgeous. And then here is Ashley's view from the living room, and I am gagged, you guys. Like, hello? <laughs> So we're gonna save the bedroom for last, but down here is the bathroom and here's what the bathroom looks like. I am in love. I cannot wait for Ashley to have self-care nights here. And then look at the view of the Eiffel Tower, you guys. Like I'm low key jealous of my sim self. <laughs> I'm so jealous of her. And then here's the door to the bedroom. And this is what the bedroom looks like, you guys. We have a clothes rack over here with a Chanel bag. We have a vanity where my sim self does her hair and makeup. And of course she has her Samoa luggage in here since she is traveling. And then here's my favorite part of the apartment. We have this gorgeous dresser here. I believe this is by House of Harlots. And then this bed, oh my goodness, the detailing in this bed is so beautiful. And I believe this is by Felix Andre, but here's the best part. Here's the best part. She has the most beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower from her bedroom. Imagine waking up to this. Imagine. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> but that is the tour of the apartment we're going to be staying at for the next few days. And there's also one more thing I want to point out before we get into gameplay. Ashley is temporarily staying here. She originally lives in San Shuno. And guess who is her landlord, you guys? It's Nathan Blackburn. <laughs> Um, and he is from my Mimi and Samurai Shino Let's Play series and he was Mimi's original landlord in that series so the game spawned him as the landlord again and so I'm not sure if I want to keep him in this save file because as I said before I don't intend for this Let's Play series to be in the same universe as my other Let's Play series so let me know in the comments if you guys think we should keep Nathan in this Let's Play series or if it's just going to be too confusing to have him in the series as well and we can just get Ashley in 
new landlord but it is summer in Paris and there's a heat wave and so I'm thinking we start Ashley's solo trip in Paris by going to the pool and hopefully we can run into a few sims get something to drink to cool off and just hang out by the pool but before she does that we're going to uh oh <laughs> Okay, you know what? We won't wake up Benji. I'm gonna have her change and then we'll head over to the pool. I'm actually jealous of my Sims so kill. <laughs> She's so cute. All right, I'm gonna wait for a few more Sims to show up. But I think while we do that, I'm gonna get a drink at the bar. Uh, order drink. Let's do a Ridge Port. Yeah, let's do that. And y'all, look at the view. Like, what? What? And not the DJ playing Pussycat Dolls. Like, what a vibe. Living her best life, y'all. She's living her best life. <laughs> She's so cute. There aren't any sims that I made here yet. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is Izzy Fabulous. He is a one-star celebrity and he is a fashion stylist, I believe. But I have him living in Paris and I low-key want to have my sim self meet him. <laughs> and maybe potentially be good friends with him. Oh, but here's another sim I made. Um, she's from a previous save file. I forgot what her name is, but I'll meet her later. Let's see if we could do a... Oh, attempt introduction. Oh, because he's famous. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry about duty. <laughs> Girl. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> of course it didn't go well. Um, can we just do a friendly introduction? Let's just do that. Let's just do a friendly introduction. <laughs> dag dag. Ah, nope, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we got first impressions. Oh, okay. So it looks like Ashley's first impression on Izzy is admirable. This sim appears to be admirable to Ashley. And then let's check Izzy's first impression on my sim self. Oh, not me finding Izzy extremely attractive. But it looks like Izzy's first impression on Ashley is imaginative. There is something creative and imaginative about the way this sim appears to see the world and interact, which makes them interesting. Soul. Ah, soul, soul. Let's check our first impressions. Oh no! It looks like Ashley's first impression on her is unreliable. A sim who gives the impression that they can never stick to one thing, place, job, or person doesn't inspire Ashley to build a relationship. Oh goodness. It looks like her name is Amelia. All right. I'm a cabbage. Guru Penevi. Axawa. Skiba Glosh. Oh, not her leaving. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so these are two sims that I added to this save file. This is Eric, I believe. He's from an old save file. And then this is actually one of my mutuals over on TikTok sim. I'll have the creator's name here, but she didn't give the sim a name. So I had to generate a name for him. And the game generated his name to be Damien. And I think that name fits him so perfectly. And he is so fine, y'all. <laughs> he is so fine. I might have my sim self talk to him. And my sim self is feeling chatty from the drink earlier. Oh yeah, we're talking to him. I mean, we could definitely talk to both. We are in Paris. <laughs> that is not appropriate. Let me stop. Oh. Let me check our first impressions. Okay, so here's our first impression on Damien. Imaginative. There's something creative and imaginative about the way this sim appears to see the world and interact, which makes them interesting. All right, let's check his first impression on us. Oh, <laughs> cool. This sim strikes Damien as pretty cool. <laughs> they just have this popular insider vibe, period. Um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna flirt with him just yet. 
Let's discuss interests. Not me realizing my swimsuit changed outfits. That, it's okay. It's okay. You know what? I'm not wasting no time. Oh, not sexy pose. I'm flirting with him. <laughs> oh, she's inspired buff. Some films are full of imagination and stories enough to get Ashley inspired. Um, so I think we're going to head back to our place. But before we go, I'm going to get his number so that we can maybe meet up with him later on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back to the apartment now. Oh, but they're getting along so well. I love that I took her to the pool to raise her fun meter, and her fun meter didn't raise at all. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have her go use the restroom, but I think we're going to keep tonight pretty relaxed and have a self-care night because there'll be plenty of nights where we'll go to the bar in the nightclub and all that later on in the series. The first thing we're gonna do is have her take a bath with soaks and wash away the pool water. Let's do the milk honey and oatmeal soak. Oh, I forgot to um stop controlling Paolo. It's fine. <laughs> Let me turn MXA off because you can see cleavage. <laughs> and I'm not trying to get demonetized. But what a vibe. Uh, uh, uh. The way I just want to jump through the screen right now. I'm so jealous. And you guys, look at the sunset. Oh my gosh. You're joking. You are joking. Like, this is stunning. Oh, let's check her buffs. Oh, she got a confident buff from exchanging numbers with Damien. Totally digging me. This could be a start of a beautiful relationship. And then she has a happy buff. Baby soft skin. Ah, uh, itchiness is soothed. Nothing like a good milky oatmeal honey bath to take the edge off. Plus, it leaves the lingering smell of cereal. All right, I think what we're going to do is pour Ashley a glass of wine and watch a movie on the couch with Benji. And of course, we're gonna do the River Blossom. <laughs> I don't know, in my mind, I like to think that the River Blossom is like Moscato. And I love me some Moscato. Ah, oh, Ina. Huh. Okay, let's put that in her inventory. Oh, Benji already <laughs> laid out on the couch. So cute. Okay. Let's see what movie we're gonna watch. And then we'll have her drink that glass of nectar. Dota Vap. Oh look at Benji. Imagine being in Paris in a nice as apartment, drinking a glass of nectar in front of the Eiffel Tower. Um, can we ask him to come sit with us? Kubu. Dang, did y'all see how far he just jumped? Alright, can we pet him? <laughs> Not him clipping in the couch, but that's okay. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Where, where's he going? Not him coming over here to play with the toilet. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, let's see. All right, her fun meter is full. I think I'm gonna have her go ahead and head to bed and then have her head to the cafe first thing in the morning. Oh, not Benji jumping out the bed. He said he wanted to sleep on the couch instead. <laughs> Y'all, him clipping into the sofa is sending me. Like half his body is engulfed in the couch. But he's so cute. I will never get over this view. 
but it is Monday morning and I think what we have planned for today is we're going to go to the cafe, grab some coffee, something to eat, and then we're going to walk Benji and kind of explore the world a bit. And then I think I want to invite Damien to go grab lunch downstairs. And then after that, I think we're going to end the episode there for today. Oh no, she's starving. All right, let's wake her up. We're gonna have her use the restroom, brush her teeth, change, and then head over to the cafe. Honestly, the music that you can hear from downstairs is a vibe. Like, <laughs> it is such a vibe. So here's our outfit for a quick run to the cafe. It is super casual and I love this, I guess you can call this like a, a romper. I'm honestly not sure what you would call this and I forgot what the creator's name is so I'll put the name here for you guys and I love this outfit so much but we're gonna head over to the cafe now. We made it to the cafe and you guys I can't get over this view but we're gonna head inside and we're gonna get something to eat because her energy is pretty good but her hunger's just not that great. Oh what if we get an eclair? I mean we are in Paris. All right let's do an eclair. Hold on is this it is <laughs> you guys it's derek i just made a video on him recently ashley should start thinking about further education girl get this if you don't get that out of my face i am not worried about college right now uh cipolla <laughs> Fuizok. wait Parfum. Benoit. ashley oh my goodness y'all she's attracted to derek <laughs> derek is married he is married. Uh -huh. Y'all, it's Damien! It's Damien! Is he coming over here? He is! <laughs> oh my goodness, we're gonna talk to him, y'all. But she needs to eat her Claire first. Not him walking by without speaking. That's crazy. I'll wait for him to get his food and then we'll talk to him. Oh, you guys! His wife showed up. Okay, so this is Simone Brown and this is Derek's wife. Oh, and she came to the cafe to greet him. That's so cute. Oh, Eric's here too. Oh, his coffee's ready, y'all. Is he coming outside? <gasps> You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> Nami is so geeked over this. Look at him looking at her. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, I know you're lying. Okay, so we got two uncomfortable buffs. So it looks like my sister started her period. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what, girl? Just imagine you don't have it right now. <laughs> you know what? Let's ask about his morning. The samba. Hello? I yep. I'm sorry. Was this not supposed to be an intimate moment? What? I'm sorry. I need you to go away. <laughs> Like, please read the room, Oh, Yo, Oh, he's so cute. What is- Y'all. I'm finna get mad. <laughs> I'm about to get mad. Like- And then you came over here with an attitude. Hello? Absolutely not! Girl, not with that attitude. I don't want to talk to you. I'm about to abuse the hell out of this interaction. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna casually um, ask him to go grab lunch or maybe even like an early dinner tonight. I mean, there is an interaction to do that. Discuss expanding a family? Girl, that is way too forward. <laughs> oh, share ideas? Maybe share the idea to him? And see what he thinks about that? I know you're lying. 
Mortimer. Mortimer. You know what? It's time for me to head back to my place anyways to, um, to go walk Benji. So I think I'm going to say bye to Damien and then we're going to head back to Ashley's place. Is it too forward to give him a hug? I don't think so. I think I'm going to do it. So I placed some birth control in pads and tampons down for my sims to use them, but I think because we don't own this lot, she's not able to access it, which is so sad. And so I think what I'm going to need to do off camera is head back to her place have her buy the pads and tampons and the birth control and then come back to this lot. But again, I'll do that off camera. Where's my little man? Let's find him. Oh, of course he's in the kitchen. Let's go take him on a walk. And we're just gonna do a short walk. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> he is so cute, y'all. Okay, it looks like she went to the pier. And you guys, look at this view. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I will never get over this view. Oh, you guys, look at the vendor over here. And you guys, it's Izzy. Die for thrills. Oh, oh, <laughs> not that. Oh, show off pet. Let's do that. Let's show him Benji. Oh. <laughs> Is that Damien again? Oh. Arfania. Ah. Uh, now I'm doing a <laughs> now I'm doing a 180. Ah, it's a bow. No let's. Uh Shuska. So I think she's saying bye to him. Ah. Ooh, keep that to Oh, Joan. Aww. I think, y'all, I think she's trying to say bye to Izzy. If this isn't me in real life, I am not a small talker, y'all. <laughs> like, I don't hold a conversation well. And I'm always trying to be subtle about trying to end a conversation. Just being like, okay, well, I gotta go now. I need to go run errands and then just kind of like be nice about ending a conversation. So <laughs> this does not surprise me, but we are going to say bye to Izzy and then we're gonna head back to the apartment. And because Ashley is getting hungry, I'm gonna have her get ready for her lunch date with Damien. You guys, look at Benji laying down. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, we're gonna use the restroom, take a quick shower. Then we're gonna freshen up so that I myself can feel flirty for the date. <laughs> She's so cute. Is she feeling flirty now? Oh, not that working. All right, so she's also dizzy right now because she's on her period and, oh, I forgot to mention this earlier. I went ahead and went back to Ashley's apartment to buy the birth control and the pads and tampons. So she just took a birth control pill and she's currently using a tampon. But let me show you guys her outfits for the lunch dates. <laughs> it's a little bit much. It might be a little bit much, but listen this is a first date we're trying to make a great first impression and of course the dress is by Sintate. it is part of their newest collection and i'm obsessed with it i love the detailing in the front i'm gonna have her go ahead and call damien and have him come over so that they can head to the restaurant downstairs <laughs> Yo, Dirk, <laughs> Dirk just left the restaurant. Hello? Absolutely not. Ashley. No way. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta cancel it because that is so dirty. <laughs> that is so dirty. We are not doing that. Ashley, please have some decorum. Please have some decorum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have them uh pick a table. Uh oh, that one's claimed. Oh, y'all, it's Sydney and um Savannah. Let's do this table. Ashley has learned Damien's woohoo interests. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, they're still doing it. No, girl, come over here and request this table. Y'all, Eric is the host for this restaurant. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Jankiba. An Arba. Glenag. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Hot dinner date, dinner check, Ashley's favorite sim ever check. Everything is wonderful. And Damien's feeling flirty too. Did he just compliment us? Oh. <laughs> Victor Fang. I'm not in the pockets of the big wigs in Samurai Shuno. I'm here to fight for the little guy. Do I have your votes? Uh, you know what? Sure, Victor. You have my support. Ashley has learned that Victor is a representative at Concerned Citizens of My Shuno. All right, Victor. Is he flirting with us? Let me go ahead and um, order for the table. And I think we're going to do... Let's go all out. Let's get the Monte Vista. And let's see what the chef's choice is for dinner. I'm not in the mood for spinach frittata. I think I'm going to get the... Ooh, I think I'm going to get myself the Caprice open sandwich. And then for Damien, we'll get him the lobster thermidor. Ooh, 136 simoleons. <laughs> oh, y'all, Simone's our Vader. You know what, let's get to know him. Let's get to know him and see what his traits are. Let's ask about his career. I gave him a career, but I don't remember what career it was. Ashley has learned that Damien is a posh profiler at Smog Incorporated. Oh, I think I got him in a social media career. Or maybe style influencer? You know what, let's just check his profile. Oh, he's a trendsetter. Okay, okay. Bazaar! Harbin Batool. Huh? Koiba? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah! She learned that one of his traits is creative. <gasps> Alright, you guys, our food came. Hello? What? What are y'all do- What? Y'all. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. Like, why did- What? Damien, what are you- Y'all. <laughs> Dine out is so bugged. It is so bugged. And why is Victor here? Y'all, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind. Like, why is she not eating her food? Oh my goodness. Hold on, y'all. I'm resetting her. Okay. Sit together. Eat your food. Is my game bugged? Like, what's going on? <gasps> Y'all. <laughs> There's no way I just delete the table. I give up. I, you know what? <laughs> We're just going to go to Ashley's place and um, she's cooking dinner for them because this, <laughs> this just pissed me off. I'm using Granny's cookbook mod to uh, make Ashley and Damien something to eat and she only has the level three cooking skill so there's only a few recipes available and I think I'm gonna have her make beef tacos for them or maybe Salisbury steak you know what we'll make the Salisbury steak instead oh ah. <laughs> he just met Benji I think Ashley's done with the meal she is I'm gonna bring it in here for them to eat also, I adjusted the lighting in here and it looks a hundred times better now. And I wish I had adjusted it earlier, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna be offended that he didn't want to sit by me. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can have her sit with Davey on the couch. <laughs> Plume. Oh, <laughs> Look at Benji, you guys. Oh, he's so cute. I want to see if he'll make. Oh, make a move. What is she doing? Compliment appearance. I want him to make the move. I don't want to make the move. 
Farfin? Kabura. <laughs> oh, she's gonna sound like flirt with him. Right. I'm gonna let her do it. It is getting late, though. <laughs> that was not flirting, but okay. Actually, yeah, it's getting late, and I've been recording for about four hours. So we need to. Oh! Oh! What? Whoa! What's going on? What is going on? Throughout the conversation, Ashley got the impression that Damien finds her quite attractive. Making her wonder if she has the right idea. I mean, we already knew that. We already knew that. <laughs> With that being said, I'm giving this man the first kiss of the series. I think this was a pretty cute date, even though there was a little technical issue oh, earlier. On. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 There's no way. There's no oh. way! Oh, yes, <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> There's no... Where are y'all going? I know they're not going to the dumpster. Don't do that. Oh my goodness. Y'all just ruined the vibe. Like, there's a perfectly good bed right here. Like, if y'all want to hunch that bad, I promise you guys don't have to go to the dumpster. All right, so I had to remove the pillows off her bed because it was preventing her and Damien from woohooing, but I think they're going to be able to woohoo in the bed now. Zombo Goonie. Oh, <laughs> yips, 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 yips. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Barley. <laughs> Break out the candles, make it romantic. Ashley's about to woohoo for the first time. <laughs> I can definitely say that their first date went very well. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all, they're still going. Oh, okay. Pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing. That woohoo is something to remember. All right, well, with that being said, I think this is going to be the perfect place to stop the first episode on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of my Simself series. And as I said before, I initially had planned on Ashley staying in Paris for only a few days, but now it's looking like we're staying for a lot longer. So please stay tuned for the next episode. I cannot wait to record it. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I'd very much appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my Sims Self series. And I'll see you guys in my next video.